Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of 32 match between Rick Reckless and his Orcs and Sad Lad and his Skaven. In the booth with me is Dimmy G, the champ. Hello. Hello everybody and welcome to a very interesting game of Blood Bowl. Yes, um, <laughs> they were about equal TV. Uh, I think the Orcs got a, yeah, the Orcs got a babe, that's right. Um, so they were town a little bit of TV. We're seeing the Dacker here, the withdrawn offence, as Purple Chest loves to call him. him and I'm saying him because he's not my heart, but he loves to call it. Um, Skaven are, of course, not as good at a Dacker than Elves, but then they're also not as good at stalling out an eight-turn drive as Elves are. So, you know, that they, they, they have issues stalling well. Um, so, you know, the... Yes, they have issues dacking, but it's just the same as they face on an on an eight turn stall. So it's it's not really worse for them, proportionally or you know, equivalently. It's it's it, yeah, it's it's a bit rough, but so's a normal drive. Um, he's we, got two incredible gutters. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, can we just point out how horrific this Skaven team is? <laughs> yeah, everyone kept saying about how insane the gutter runner was, and I was like, which one? <laughs> <laughs> like the, I guess the Edge Five is better than the Horns, yeah. but uh, they're both pretty amazing. And Rick did the tight defense as well as like allowing him to dodge off the LOS. Like, well, not even dodge off the LOS, just walk off the LOS. Mm -hmm. Which I, again, I know I understand where you like where you're coming from and stuff, but like I personally would uh, spread that LOS just to make him at least dodge. Uh, spreading it here would be, was fine because you're not scared of the two turn. But he just couldn't spread it on against the humans in the second half because he couldn't give up the two turn, right? And you definitely, if you if you split the LOS, you're definitely weaker against the two turn because you can't cover the whole backfield. Yeah, but he's got to stand firm, bro. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean that's it. There's a tackle pommer here. There's a weird. Guard, stand firm, fella. And uh, obviously, we've seen Rick's team just before. Um, loads of guard, mighty blow, and only one tackle, which could prove to be decisive. Because, you know, there's a lot of. And he knew he was playing Skaven, and he got two level ups. He chose. He rolled a double on his lineman and chose guard. And he rolled a normal on one of his Black Orcs and, wrote, and chose guard. And. I would have been really tempted to take tackle on that, honestly, because you know it's good. It's, it's a good skill, isn't it? Against, uh, it's amazing. It's, like you need the tackle to. Uh, like I know, I know it's on a move four player, so it's like it's a bit shit, right? But still, you could. It's hard to deal with a strength four guy. So yeah. you, could, you, could, you could put him into places where it would be hard to move him and then he might suck up team rerolls. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think. I also want to point out, if anyone wants to question why the Dapper is good, like, Rick has taken one hit and cast one rat so far. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. This is a slight criticism of Rick here, if, if, you, if you're a fan of criticising Rick. Um, I if he, If this lineman had been here... Then this black orc could have got in there, and I think that would have been a lot better getting it, getting that. You know, cause he would have then had, he could have had this black orc here, and he would have had two. Yeah, I'm a, there. I'm a huge fan, huge fan, <laughs> <laughs> huge fan of criticizing Rick. I just think he should have kept the uh, shape. Mm. I right, give him one more turn, and then squeeze them all the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that it can be a good try, a good thing. If you if you get them right, squeezed back, it's brilliant. But they, obviously, they try to burst out before. Then. Oh, because he didn't keep the shape. Well, he was quite. The troll, the troll kind of. Yeah, the troll. The troll kind of squeezed him more. Regardless of the shape, he couldn't have squeezed him more than this because he couldn't. You know, this is how far forward he was. And they've got leap as well, which makes it horrendous. Yeah, yeah, you can't stop the gutters going on they want. <laughs> you, you, you literally you blitz the front line and then jump over the back line and <laughs> you're away. Yeah. Bob, Bob's your father's brother. Yep. Oh, look at this. This is quite uh, disgustingly safe. <laughs> 
Oh. Yep. I love the initial uh, run back. Oh, he has to. He's got a, like, all man's on dick. So the second block kills the guy. So Rick moves this here, yeah, for the 3D, yeah, that's fine. But then he tries to move the troll, and I think he shouldn't have tried to move the troll. I think he shouldn't have attempted to move the troll here. Because he could have blitzed first, right? And... And then moved him back, yeah. And then, yeah, so if he, like, as it happened, he puts in the re-roll and doesn't power him. But if he had powered him and then didn't need to pile on, he could have come back and activated him. So, like... I think that was I think that was better because he's very unlikely a triple score right in turnover, so I think it was better to do blitz first, see what happened. Because there are worlds in which you can blitz and then assist the, the troll activation. Yeah, the troll had to move. But it was this point that I said that this was a bit early, wasn't it? It was a bit early for the Daka move. Um, and I thought he might not be able to stall out the whole half and might leave Rick a two turn. Yep. He does the blitz here, which is a good blitz to do, obviously. He gets this uh, the closest blitzer down. It's a good blitz, 2D blitz. I would have been tempted by the... What tricks? And one to the right. <laughs> I would have been I would have been tempted by this blitz just to you know so you can get the another player off on a two plus instead of a three plus, even though the other blitz is better. I would have been tempted. I would have maybe I would have maybe done that you know just for the additional safety, but uh, it's obviously fine. To do. If you play if you play a scave and you're a disgusting dice roller anyway, so I'm used to trying the three plus <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah. This has made me sad so far, Jim. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you could say I'm a sad lad. Ah, see what you've done. <laughs> you could say I'm a sad lad. I think there, like maybe the troll goes last, right? So you can do the GFI. I think. Yeah. I think Rick could have been a little bit more dice rolly here, which seems funny. A funny thing for me to be <laughs> commenting on Rick, but. <laughs> I feel Rick maybe he's could have rolled a few more dice, but I guess he he's down to two rerolls, right? And he, but still, just maybe it's just that one, right? Like that one of like the troll GFIing at the end or something. Um, maybe just yeah. one of, one extra GFI, and like not all of them. Like obviously, they'd all be better right, with, with multiple GFIs. But maybe just one, or maybe it's two off the troll, right? Get the troll right in there, you know? Just tr try something a little bit dicey to to you know try and get a good payoff. Oh, it's disgusting how fast though. <laughs> oh my god. I, I find this difficult to watch, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, you should put some uh, disclaimers on this YouTube video because, uh, like, what are you supposed to do? Mm. It's not easy. I. Like, Maybe, like, I, I think it went wrong in turn three for Rick. Where where he got the Kaz and stuff, which looks like it went alright, but... Mm. Like, like, once he's past him, he's past him, but I, I just feel like he should have made it more difficult for him to get past him. Yeah. And then, I, I guess the troll stupid didn't help, but... Mm. Yeah. Like, this is just a... Uh, an exhibition. <laughs> the other thing that he needs to do is check out Lumi's replay, where every time he, like, sneezes, it kills four rats. <laughs> yes. I mean, that, that, <laughs> that, that is the main strategy that people would adopt <laughs> Yes, he, he got five hits on gutters and he cast them four times or something, it was insane. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. And like, cause you know, he gets the hit, he gets the hit, he gets the bomb. Oh, there you go. Oh, he does cast. get cast, he yeah. does get cast, yeah. Oh, Paul comes in on the first gutter cast. And it's... Probably the shit gutter as well, isn't it? Is yeah, it? <laughs> yeah, literally the worst gutter. Well, it's the one turn gutter though, isn't it? Uh, it's the diving tackle sidestepper. Oh yeah, it's the worst one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, because this is the what the one turn has got the ball. I thought you had. I thought you'd have picked it up on the short hands one. So yeah, no, he's yeah. So he's got it on the one turner. So yeah, it's the shit is gutter. And he apples it. Bald apple, yeah. And is the is that horns one like in range of the pommer? Um, the horns. Yes, I one. hated this. I hated leaving him in range because I was like, Rick's a hundred percent gonna double G if I blitz him, like a hundred percent. I what, thought. What's that, what's that song? Oh, night long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. And then he stood him up, and I was like, what? I was uh -huh. sure he was gonna pom him. Oh man, I would love to kill. Like, do you know what? Uh, I think if he'd played this particular matchup before, he might have felt differently. Mm. Really? If, he, if he had a little ginger guy with glasses to <laughs> play against. But this is still a great blitz, though, right? Like, positionally, because he gets the three yeah. dice on him and then he gets to move yeah. the extra, extra square over there. And, and it does the him. job. It does mm. the job. Like, here's a question, Jim. If you if you do do the double GFI blitz uh, and you KO, do you pom? Yes. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You don't even have to ask, says Kinroth. <laughs> Million percent pylon, says Diddle. <laughs> Doo -doo. <laughs> Doo -doo. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe so, you know, Ricks was better positionally, but, you know, who cares about the stall? It's not like off can two turn against Skaven, is it? <laughs> yeah. Well, he might. He might. He's got, a, he's got a goblin as the scoring threat, which is quite cool, isn't it? Um, I mean, you say, you say that, Jim. <laughs> it, it might be cool. Uh, but is it viable? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pretty viable, yeah. It's like he's got catch to, to get the ball, and he's got obviously uh, stunty to dodge through any screen. So, like, this is the best scoring threat the Orcs have. Literally, it's literally the best scoring threat the Orcs have is the, uh, is the Goblin. And uh, Sad Lad quite correctly setting up for the Blitz as well. Mm. Oof. Maybe he should have. Uh... You could have gone right, I'm not sure if he correctly said so. Oh, you mean Rick setting up for the, against the Blitz? No, 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 I'm saying sad lad, like, he's 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 stuck his team out there, and he's so, like, yeah, if I get a Blitz, I just win. Mm. Whereas you've seen other Skaven coaches in the last Chalice that have sat a lot deeper, and maybe you've got a Blitz and not been able to capitalise. Yeah, fair enough. He has exposed this good though, hasn't he? Which is the big issue, yeah. I mean, that is the big issue. But then the problem is, is Rick is so in, like, Rick has to score. Well, does he have to score? I think he has to score. Like, yeah, uh, yeah it's a weird one, isn't it? It's a weird one. Hmm. It's, it's score versus damage. And then it's like, how likely are you to score? Uh, the good news is, is Rick cannot concede at this point. Which means he is free to do more dangerous things yeah makes you wonder though doesn't it because he blitzed on like the wrong side i wonder if it would have been better if he'd been over here and then he could have gfi yeah. blitzed this guy you know i wonder how much better that would have been i mean not much difference in terms of the gutters i guess because the movement nine anyway but he would have had another player near near the ball also also if he doesn't follow that he's a scoring threat right whereas he did follow that which took him out of scoring for it or double GFI? I guess he wants to tag the car. Yeah, yeah. I guess he wants to tag, tag the line on the gutter. I mean, but if he doesn't follow, the gutter's got to tag him anyway. Yeah, but wouldn't it have been better to have blitz, blitz over here and then have another player? In it was a bit so much better to have another player. In yeah, it. yeah, yeah, I totally agree with your line of thought. But once you've set up and done what you need to do. I guess he wanted to tag this line on. I guess he wanted to get that line on the other side. But yeah, probably better to have his own. He, he can just dodge around now and run away. Like Whereas yeah. if he was in scoring range, he would have to tag him. Like, yeah, that's the yeah. weird. Yeah, you're right. He probably should have stayed in scoring range. Yeah. But three dice to clear the gutter. Easy. He is also agi too, so there is that. Guys, nice. it's a, it's a yeah, four plus a yeah, good point. 
he's got the 2D here, gets the PAL. Only needed the push, of course. So the, uh, the it's just one GFI for the, uh, two GFIs, two GFIs for the Goblin, and he's got catch for the catch. And Mr. Throw's got pass for the pass, but he's still got a double GFI um, to reduce it's the... on like Donkey band. Kong. Yep, reduces the rage band, and then fails the pass. Tragedy. Mr. Throw lets us down, but I mean, that was pretty good odds for Rick to score that two turn in the end. It wasn't terrible, was it? Yeah. No, not terrible at all. Classic, Classic Mr. Mr. Throw. Mr. Throw. Absolutely goddamn lootly mad skills. We can tell you've played Blood Bowl before. Mm -hmm. Right, now we get to see what this team is really capable of trying to stop an 8 turn drive against this horrendously scary bash team. Yes. Yeah, I know mad skills, I've seen you. I saw you play against Dio the other day. His Wasn't name is Dio, great. he says things you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Dio. He says things you don't understand. One of the best songs yeah. ever. Ever. Yeah, I watched it yesterday, mate. I watched it. I I was very uh, derogatory towards Dionysian and how he played it. Mm -hmm. uh, quite disappointed, but you know. He's uh he corrected me and told me why it was correct. <laughs> Obviously I was wrong. <laughs> so Rick. How terrifying is this that like you're that deep and it's still not safe. Yeah. <laughs> like... How sick is this by the way? Look at that. GFI to us is then double GFI to Blitz. Well, like you gotta through. do what you gotta do. Like this, this matchup is absolutely terrifying, mm. and I don't, I don't think you guys watching this realize how friggin' terrifying this is. Like honestly, I like if I had watched this before, I wouldn't have realized how terrifying this was until now. <laughs> Not that I have watched it before, of course. Of course, none of us would have watched it before. <laughs> yeah. Like, this, this is... Uh, if Soul Ref is out there, if, if Fight Soul Fight's out there, um, this is a throwback to his game where it's like, you give them two hits, right? You give them two guys to aim at because, like, they can snipe one, right? They can snipe one, but they can't snipe the other. It's the, yeah. the logic, I guess. Yeah. And uh, if you just throw one up at a time, then one of them's going to get hit, which this one does get hit. And if the other rat isn't in range, then you're safe as houses. You don't even care. Like, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Also, to be fair to Sol, uh, like, his rats died. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, when they were here. Yes. They died. <laughs> Ooh. But so th this this was a mistake from Rick, right? That the, this splits are going over here. To yeah, he should have He should have come back towards the cage because it's his only tackle there. So at the time, I didn't really notice that, but looking back, he should have absolutely come back here with that guy. I, so I think I think that is one of the biggest mistakes in any chalice like, game on any level of coach. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly, honestly, it's where they put their tackle, and uh, that is nothing to do with their personal lives. That is completely to do with blood bowl. Uh, I feel like tackle, like, because this is the thing, right? Like, I'm a, I'm a, a, a product of Dionysian who says that tackle isn't important. Like, if you put your guys in the right square, you don't need it. But my personal interpretation of it as a player who's not as good as Dio and is not able to see the squares that Dio sees or in fact a lot of players out there see um, but if your tackle is in the right place like 
you've always got a chance. So, and like, like, this is what I mean. Like, Rick's got like one tackle, recognizing the game state. He's got two mental gutter runners. Like, these gutter runners <laughs> are mental. Yeah. Uh, and um, like, like Jim says, like. It didn't see it at the time. Didn't see it at the time. But like, once you see what happens, and this this is why he may benefit from a practice game as well. <laughs> uh, and had he had a practice game, like maybe he would have played it differently. Like, yeah. um, but, I mean, to like, be fair, my... I didn't notice at the time because I was playing probably no attention to the match. But um, <laughs> yeah, like... was, was, was you playing Minecraft at the time? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, that, on that... it. That was Honestly, such a big mistake. And like this guy's not doing anything, is he? Tag and like you know, it's forcing. Well, he gave him the two D. He gave him the two D on a line rat, like. But like, hello. No, no, this one, uh, this, this one over here. So th this one isn't doing anything here. So this one over here could have gone there, and then that tackler could have gone like here or here or whatever, right? And then that would have been perfectly be relevant. Yeah. Yeah. Be relevant. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I, I honestly I honestly think that is one of the biggest mistakes that high level coaches make. Is mm. uh, but having like, said it, that, having said that, this is still stupidly lucky from uh from South oh, right? because he leaps Absolutely. in on the three plus and then he, it's an uphill and it's a one in one in four to get the ball right because he hasn't like well he hasn't got stripped because he's got sure hands. So he comes in with this guy and he, even though he's strength four He's got two two guards, so it's, it, you know there's no way to make it anything but an uphill. So it was a, it was guaranteed one in four at best. But once he gets the one in four, he, you know it like he becomes very favoured to score. I didn't actually like this GFI either. This is a funny one because you've got to make a lot of dice rolls, haven't you? You've got the dodge there, which okay, it's pretty easy. Then you've got the two plus leap. Then you've got a three plus pickup, and then that's what one two three. Uh, what is it? One two three, four five six seven. So like you've got a GFI, and you've got to make you know, so you've got to make multiple G, multiple dodges and a two plus leap and a three plus pickup and a GFI and a two plus pass. Yeah, so, there's no there's no tackle in range of the ball carrier if he's not in the end zone. Yeah, and you and you've got two gutters like one you can only blitz one of them right like you you've got this guy can get hit obviously but he, he if if this guy gets through and passes it. Even if he even if he blitzes this guy and casses him, you still got the you still got this gutter to just run through and score. So, yeah, I think I think he didn't need this GFI, and it's obviously easy to say that after he's used the reroll. But I, yeah. I just did, I did say it at the time. I just didn't think he needed to do that reroll because he didn't need to score this turn. Yeah, once he's got the ball down your pitch, like like you say, if he if he's blitzing the the guy that he's throwing it to, then he can't blitz the edge of five. Yeah. Like, and yeah, and just failing that pickup's just too costly, isn't it? Like, it's or failing the leap, like it, failing either of those two, are just brutal. Or failing the pass, you know, like so, like all of those things are like pretty critical fails. I guess away with the first hit. Mm -hmm. In comes the other one to make it a three dice. Very nice. Guess Ball pal. Not not a comedy mega so far. <laughs> no. Now the tackle can come back to relevancy. In fact, he can imagine, blitz, can't he? He can three dice blitz with a tackle. Hey, Beautiful. imagine imagine he was somewhere nearer the ball this turn. <laughs> oh, he does get the blitz though, so this yeah, isn't yeah, too bad. Yeah, and he changes him the, around, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, and he gets the pom blitz, and that that chain makes the cage. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so it didn't actually matter too much. Well, it did because it, it gave him a free, it gave him the free route in. If he'd been here, it would have been like a, it would have been extra dodges with, through tackle to get to the ball in the initial hit last time. But it, it didn't make a difference this turn as much as last turn. And here's the foul. It doesn't break. So I mean, he got really, he got really unlucky here, Rick. Like, okay, he got somewhat lucky to to power the guy without without tackle, uh, but didn't Isn't break his armor. Yeah, isn't that rat like niggled? Is one of these rats niggled as well? Yeah, like, yeah, this know. one. Yeah, yeah, this one just got hit by mighty blow and and, and bombed. No, no, no. <laughs> this bombed. this one got pommed. The, oh, the non niggled okay, got yeah. pommed and fouled and didn't get his armor broken at all, um, which you know may be relevant. <laughs> that may be relevant. <laughs> spoilers, no spoilers. Mm. 
it's not it's not about spoilers, is it? You can you can see that that might be relevant because this, this, this is where Elliot says it's not over. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. This is this is an Elliot. It's not over. Also, he, he does the blitz with the edge five with the strip ball, of course. Now as a factor. Imagine being so fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on a holiday and he pushes him down towards like the other gutter to uh, with the team. hopefully get a good scout like this. More fucking rats. <laughs> what the fuck? Why the fuck would a dream scout. Yeah. He leaps over there, picks it up in two tackle zones, no problem. And lobs it to him. <laughs> and that's pretty much GG, isn't it? Funnily enough, if he wasn't in the end zone... He could have. He could have still not even scored there, right? He could have like. He could have literally still not even scored there. It would have been fine to have not scored. On, honestly, because again, if he blitzes him, he's not blitzing the other one, and then he just goes back and scores. Yeah, he but he could have run to the other side of the pitch. And just yeah. But um, two 0 is is almost certainly a win anyway. Almost, almost. Yeah. Unless he can bang this in in two turns. Hmm. Shaolin Iron Groin. <laughs> yeah, five rerolls. It sucks to be a, a touchdown down on your drive and have five rerolls, doesn't it? <laughs> but he couldn't use team rerolls to get himself out of the, his predicament at the end of the day. He just got uphilled and then. Honestly, and, this know. this that last sequence made me sad. Yeah. Like honestly, like that, that the the two turns leading up to that touchdown, genuinely as a blood bowl coach made me sad because it doesn't matter how good you are, and how well you protect the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If they if they roll the dice they need, there's nothing you can do, and like that's something you got to accept in blood bowl. It's sadly, it made me sick to the bottom of my stomach. <laughs> Hello, um, PC. Hello. Um, Hello. There's a couple of things you can do. It's very, very difficult, and the minute you're in trouble, you can't do them. But you can set even wider pickets around your cage. You can look at where, if they're going to uphill you, where that would lead to. Um, in the new rules, there's the skill, isn't there? Um, safe pair of hands, which will allow you to choose where you put the ball down. That might be some help against that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, you're right. You know, If they're going to come for you and they're going to not be right into the red dice, then um, sometimes it's going to work. Yeah. It yeah, must feel cool. horrible. It must feel horrible to have to suffer that sort of uh, play. Like at the end of the day, what what can you do? Like Agi Five is Agi Five. You got leap. You got wrestle. You got uh, strip ball. You got every. And importantly, the game stayed to a point where it doesn't matter if it goes wrong, particularly. You no, know, you, you still. Well, it did go watch. wrong. It did go wrong at first, wasn't it? Yeah. Like he got the perfect scatter. It went like, and Rick recovered. <laughs> no, I wasn't it... here for that. I didn't get back for the first. Oh one. man! No, no, no! This was like the turn before. Like right. It didn't go quite right for the rats, and Rick recovered, and then it still went wrong. Like well, yeah. but then like pro elves, you can just if you've got enough bodies, you can just keep coming for it. Yes, what, what, what I'll tell you now, it was unbelievable. He, he did the one in four, uh, like, uphill ball sack, and then right. he managed to not score with the edge five, like the edge five rolled a, th a two on the oh. pickup and failed to pick up. And then right. he got he got both gutter runners knocked over. The edge five one was pommed and fouled, <laughs> and he didn't get his uh, armour broken. <laughs> not even broken, not even stunned. Oh. Yeah, so neither, neither gutter, and so all, the, the gutter runners between them took four AV rolls and didn't get broken once. Wow. So. Yeah, well, sometimes it's not to be. Yeah, so very jealous, yeah. <laughs> well, this one plays out to, you know, our non-surprise and a rat win. Um, I mean, it, you know, my GG Tour qualifying, the first game uh, I tried, I just got completely um, deleted by Necro, removing a dwarf around with a claw mighty wolf. You know, just completely deleted it. Um, second time around, I played, I thought, even better. Um, some rats, I took them to overtime because they just ratted me, just outmaneuvered me and pulled off a 4 plus 4 plus to score and then managed to take it to overtime got it done despite a blitz where the gutters got the whole gutter pack got the ball and I had to recover from that blitz in overtime because it was my ball but they blitzed to get it got it drove it home faced Orcs in the final and had four deaths and two serious injuries 
So I tried a third time on the late on the Sunday night, having got home, and it was Necro again with another Claw Mighty Wolf, uh, and Heat for the third time in four games. But the Heat was balanced for once, and in the second half we started 9-9, I pulled off some utter bullshit to score, so I think a 4 plus 4 plus again, then a 3-2, with a re-roll, but still. Um, and in the second half I just killed both Wolves on turn 2 of the second half, leaving him, you know, virtually nothing. So the games I'd played well, I lost, and the games I didn't need to do anything. Oh, and then in the final, it was against a fling team that had played three games of Blood Bowl. Oh, nice. Love to and see. had had just the worst skill picks all over the flings. I, I, I didn't get that lucky to play somebody who had terrible skill picks in my qualifier. I only played the best. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah. That's what I heard, yes. <laughs> yeah, so Rick's done everything right here, hasn't he? He's, he's got he's got yeah, a pass to... He's got, he's, got he's, got nice use the black, he's got to use a black orc as a relay because obviously he can't, he can't pass over the uh, the Edge 5. Uh, well, it's not even Edge 5, it's Edge 4. He, but you can't pass over Edge 4 even, can you, without a tackle zone. Five, no, five you, plus, you, uh, you really shouldn't. Is what I was trying to say. Five plus intercept. So he's got he's got to lob this. And then, particularly if it's an elf catcher, people are amazed if it then you know manages to even using its reroll intercept. Yeah, fifty five percent intercept. The shock. When yeah, it ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, I saw pass block for the first time <laughs> in yeah. my life uh, last night. So, uh... And there we are. Rick gets one back, so it's still game on. Yeah, yeah. That's very Rick, isn't it? Rick's not going to quit. Yeah, he won't. He won't. That's the. Rick that's is going to try and these... turn these rats over. I mean, you know, you get a blitz, you get a misfield. Things can happen. Um, if you really want things to happen, you keep the troll and the goblin off the line, so you've got the TTM option for a you know misfielded ball even deep, uh, as well as on the blitz. You know, you can. There's ways you can really put some pressure on, or at least try to. But ultimately, the rats only need anything short of catastrophic dice, and it should be fine. Mm. So yes, yeah, so I faced a multi-block tree. And you know, just all sorts of rubbish skills all over them. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, in my he first set up round, three flings and two trees on the line of scrimmage when he was kicking, and then was amazed when I killed two flings in round one. He conceded round four. Yeah, in, in my first round, my opponent took guard on his flesh golems instead of block. <laughs> what a noob! I bet you beat him easily, Dimmy. Uh, like, well, it, yeah, it, two, he two did noob. tell me that he just faced noob, noobs all uh, all day. <laughs> the easiest games of his life, he said. I, I was watching Jim thinking, oh wow, like how easy has he got it? And then I got it even easier. <laughs> well, I had, yeah, so as I said, I had two qualifiers where I thought I played really well and lost both horrifically. And then a qualifier where I virtually had nothing to do and Nuffle just gave me a ticket. Yeah. It's That's Blood Bowl sometimes. It is. Skill, the, the most skilled player only wins 60% of the... Well, no, skill only matters. It only matters who the best coach is 60% of the time. Yeah, that's probably about right. Yeah. Unless you're good day, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> On a really hot run. No, that's like, still... It's still, it's still 60%. I don't think it goes higher than that. I think that's about it. I, I, th I think, uh, you know, we're all guesstimating, but I'd say that you're probably about right with that, yeah. Yeah. About right, yeah. Wow, Sol, I, I don't know how you manage that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously this is what this is obviously what how sad lads got to play this right. Uh, Rick's only got three turns to turn him over, so you just uh, yeah, you just screen everything off and then you yeah, can... bugger off with the ball and elf curtains. Yeah. Or elf walls, or whatever you you know call it, but the standard uh, columns defence. Squeen, squeen, we, we're going to call it now. Thanks, <laughs> thanks yeah, to Dimmy. Squeen, and we still of course have enough rats to go too deep all the way across the field. It's a lovely squeen. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely better than uh, the uh, druggies screen that we saw last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> Do you like to go too deep, Dimmy? Is that a uh, three or four. <laughs> okay. Yes, I saw that early draw, Gary, and I thought it looked quite fun. Um, I, I quite enjoyed the idea of facing World Sitter. <laughs> and Dimmy G faced a rematch round two with Andy Dover. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, if 
Andy's got anything to do with it. Me and Andy are going to be on opposite side of the brackets. Yeah. <laughs> double one, I, scared of the champ. That was I a heard huge a rumor he chance. gets a round one by and then it's two goblins playing off to see against him. <laughs> yeah. It's only a rumor, but... Uh, we'll yeah, it started then. by you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like the Elon Musk of Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh, I definitely heard someone say that, though. Yeah, yeah, you! <laughs> <laughs> Now there's a great, there's a great lobby because if he does the lob, then uh, obviously first of all he could actually just hit the gutter runner, but also he could get in and in yeah. you know get double basing and stuff. So it could be yeah, it's just about getting any pressure down the field, anything that stops him being able to reform those walls. That's but the problem is, of course, that if you, if you go too far, if you if you you know if you get too much penetration, then you give up cover and then you can just scoot past you. So it's like it's yeah. so hard, like it's so hard. Absolutely, to, like, too much penetration anything. definitely is a problem here. Yeah. Um, I mean, he'll just take the ball and go straight past you with a gutter, and then it's it's completely gone. So you've got to try and keep pressure across the field somehow. Yeah, this this guy, right? This guy probably had to come back or go over here or something. This is. I didn't mind him one further. Yeah, exactly. Right, the other side of where that black orc is. Mm. Squeezing those three rats between the two of them, I thought would have been a lot sexier. Mm. And otherwise, that black orc, yeah, just gets. Exactly, easy two died, and then you've got options as to where to put your barrel. But this could still be worse. Yeah, there's the gutter free. Now it couldn't be worse. <laughs> no, not really. And he is home and dry, nearly. There is one guy who can reach him. This blitzer can reach. Um, but no one else can reach to hit him. Well, one bit blitzer should have been left backfield at least. Yeah. Uh, but even then, he's just going to tag it with the other gutter, so, you know. Or, of course, he would have just pulled back. He could have just pulled back, yeah. right? If, if, he, if, he had, if he had three players back here, then, then he's got three players that can just screen. So, like, it's... It was it's a, it's the traditional control chance. problem against rats, isn't it, Jim? You've got, to, you've got to put something forwards, or else they can just stay backfield with the ball. Mm. You've got to hold the width of the field, or else they break through in numbers. And you've got to have something back, because the gutters are likely to break through anyway. Yeah. And trying to do all three of those and maintaining, you know, quality pressure in all three of those zones is almost impossible. Yeah. It's basically you like you a You haven't fart. got the speed, you haven't got the numbers. Yeah, he, need, he needed to have removed a bunch of rats. Like, if yeah. there were six rats left, then maybe he yeah. could have done it. But, uh... Yeah, then you can make a, a reasonable fudge of doing those three things at once. Mm. But with this number, it's, it's impossible. But, you know, I celebrate that he tried, because you certainly don't get there if you don't have a go at it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Throw got deleted at the end, yeah. Oh, he sadly didn't get MVP. That would have been really funny if he got MVP. But I mean, Rick made 20 AV breaks. He, he, did, a, he did a lot of AV breaks, yep. but didn't get the cars right. Well, he still got three, but yeah, he just needed to have deleted. Deleted. Mate, he, 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 he bombed, he fouled, he did everything he could. Yeah, didn't yep. It just wasn't to be. On another day, um, every gutter runner gets killed, yeah. and uh, we're all laughing at them. Yes. Well, it's why rats. I mean, it's why rats can win the chalice and have won the chalice. But it's why you get so many beautiful-looking rat teams that don't. Is because the longer the chalice goes on, the chance of running into that game where the AV breaks do lead to you know five, six, seven removals, and then suddenly they're either not winning that game or they're in no state to win the next one. But while they roll on, and while they keep 11 on the field, they can beat anybody, can't they? They sure can. So, yep, congratulations, sad lad. Commiserations, Rick. Thank you very much, Dimmy and PC. Absolutely glorious as always. I was here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I popped, everyone. I popped in at the end just to finish it off. Oh, baby. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.